So come on to your mat. Good morning, my name is Bethany. If this is your first class with me or you're taking this later in YouTube land. Um, so it's Mother's Day today in this moment. And as I was prepping for this class, I actually came across, um, I was listening to Ram Das talk about how to inhibit roles with lightness and joy. And it's funny you're taking this class there because I was immediately you who I thought of um, as someone who does that so well. I just enjoy your energy and your Facebook posts about frogs get me every time. Um, and so as I'm listening to this talk a couple of days ago, I stumble across, um, and I wish I could remember where I saw it because I would love to give him credit, um, this idea of stumbling or tripping into joy. So in our roles as wives, moms, humans, just in general, um, how easy is it? We, we trip into anxiety, we trip into worry, we trip into fear, we trip into stress all the time, right? All the time, it's so easy. But this idea of tripping into joy, I really started to kind of ponder over along with that Ram Dass talk about inhibiting roles with lightness and joy. Um, and it's very easy to get squinched into these roles, right? Mom, worker, wife, daughter, whatever it is, um, and kind of lose that essence of, I'm not really any of those things, right? Just who you are within yourself and within this moment. So I don't really have any answers to that. <laughs> I just wanted to prompt these thoughts for you this morning as we go through this practice. Um, and so giving yourself just this next, I'd say it's probably gonna be about a 50 minute class. I've kind of shortened them a little just because in Zoom land, an hour seems really hard. Um, so with that thought through your mind, how can I inhibit these roles, right? And maybe even just bringing it into the physical sense first. Sometimes it's easier to physically experience things and then we can start to kind of unpack them in our subconscious and our brain. So as we move through this class, I'm gonna bring us into a couple different um, styles of movement and things you may not have done in my class with me before. It's gonna be all levels because everyone in this class, especially this morning, we're all at different levels and that's fine. So we're gonna progress through things a lot and you can always just repeat the first part of the progression. So grab some music, whatever makes you happy this morning. Come on to all fours. And just begin moving around through some cat cows. As you exhale, round the spine, chin to chest. And as you inhale, drop the belly, lift the heart and eyes. Just continuing to move back and forth. Tapping into your breath here. Take three more rounds of that breath in through your nose, out through your nose. As you exhale next, tuck your toes, lift your hips, find your first down dog, beginning to gently pedal it out. Especially if you woke up and it was cold where you are this morning, take some time. If it's in your practice and you enjoy it, go ahead and lift a leg, spin that hip open, really begin to open up. You could even drop the opposite forearm down if that felt good to you today. And if none of that feels good, child's pose is here waiting for you this morning. Whatever option you decide to take, let's make sure to mirror image on both sides. So moving around, loosening up this morning. So even in your practice, really letting go of the role of practitioner, right? Or making it look a certain way, doing something a certain way. Once you've evened out both sides, we'll come back into down dog. Or if you're in child's pose, feel free to stay. As we begin to set our breath right here. In through your nose, out through your nose. Beginning to lengthen your inhale, 
to match the length of that exhale as we prepare for sun salutation. Maybe even moving into your ujjayi. Taking one more firm deep breath here. Squeeze that breath out as you begin to tiptoe the feet to the backs of your hands. Softening the knees as you roll all the way up. Arms come up overhead. Interlace your fingers, flip your palms and really stretch them up. As you exhale, we're gonna bring the hands behind the head, take the elbows nice and wide. I'm gonna face you for this one. As we begin to warm up through the side body, we're gonna be using it a lot today. And so to start, I just wanna take a little side crunch. Stay as tall and long as you can. Crunch, I want you to feel all right through here. Inhale, center, and as you exhale, take it the other way. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, press down through that left heel more. Let's add on a little. Inhale, this time as you exhale, I want you to take it as deep as you can to the left. At the last moment, shift the weight into the right foot, hover, and almost suction cup that left hip into socket, center. As you exhale, lift and crunch. Do it one more time on each side. Inhale, exhale, hover that left foot. Inhale, exhale, hover that right foot. So remember how that feels through those side bodies right there. We're gonna be revisiting that a lot. As you inhale, stretch the arms back up, press. And as you exhale, forward fold. Inhale, hands to shins, half forward fold. Exhale, plant the palms. Let's step back left foot. Inhale, right heel is right over the knee, is over the heel, inhale. Exhale, step back down dog. Come forward to your plank. Drop the knees, top to feet down as you lower all the way, elbows hug your rib cage. Slide your hands back by the lowest ribs if they're not already there. Take an inhale, press the feet down, lift your heart. This is always your option. Exhale, release, tucking the toes, press back down dog. Left heel to sky. Knee to chest on the travel, really hug it in and step that left foot by left thumb. Help it forward if you need and take an inhale. Exhale, step to the top of your mat. Hands to shins, lengthen your spine, nice long flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, flip the palms, stretch, big back bend. Inhale, sit in as you exhale, dive. Half lift on the inhale. Plant the palms, set back right foot. Inhale, maybe you float the hands. Exhale, down dog. Forward through the inhale. Exhale, lower. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Right heel to sky. Begin to find that rhythm with your breath and movement. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Hands to shins, inhale. Exhale. Inhaling all the way up. Interlace the fingers, flip the palms, exhale, upper back bend. Inhale, we'll pull you out, exhale, dive. Inhale, hands to shins. Exhale, fold, stepping back, left foot. Press the floor away as you inhale. Exhale, down dog. Forward, through that breath, inhale. Knees or toes, exhale. Up dog, down dog. Breathe in, left heel to sky. Really beginning to feel yourself warm up now. Exhale, knee to chest. Lightly step forward, inhale. Exhale. Hands to shins, inhale. Exhale, fold, hollow your belly, nose towards your knees. Inhale, all the way up. Interlace the fingers, stretch. Exhale, bend. Inhale. 
Exhale. Hands to shins, half lift. Exhale, right foot back, last round like this. Breathe in. Down dog. Forward through plank. Chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. Right heel to sky. Knee to chest. Step lightly forward, inhale, exhale, hands to shins, exhale, all the way up, look up at your palms, flip them over, stretch biceps by ears, lengthen, and inhale, center, bring the hands down through namaste to your prayer. Heel toe your feet in so the big toes are touching. There's just about a thumbnail's distance between your heels. Rooting down through the feet, still spreading the toes though. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Slight tuck of the tailbone, drop it down between your heels. Take an inhale, blink those eyes open. Utkatasana or chair pose. Now look down at your knees. Make sure you're sliding them back so that I can see my toes. Press the weight through the heels, breathe for three. Maybe stare off the tip of your thumbs for two. One more, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant the hands if it's in your practice, hop to chaturanga or step with me through plank, knees or toes, lower. Up dog, down dog and breathe. Five deep breaths right here. Child's pose is also always your option anytime we're in down dog. And coming down to all fours. I'm gonna turn, y'all, so you can turn actually um, sideways on your mat so you're facing the long side of your mat. Coming into tabletop. It's a nice neutral spine, shoulders are over wrists. Let's take our right arm, left leg, straight as an arrow. Reach, spread the fingers, really flex, and press through that heel. So I'm gonna reach back. I'm just gonna see if I can tap my heel. And then I'm gonna extend right back forward. For three, reach forward. If you can't reach the foot, just reach back. You don't have to touch anything. Come center. Last one, take it back. If you can grab the foot, grab the foot and take a big stretch here. If we can't, I just want you to continue to reach. You don't have to hold into anything. For three, two, and as you inhale, press through that heel, lengthen it back up, and I'll open to the sides of the room as wide as you can. Land that left foot. Root through the pinky toe edge of that foot. I'm going to place my right hand down under my shoulder and take a big breath in as I open to that left side. Exhale. Do a little thread the needle here. Really contract through your core. Squeeze that breath out. Inhale, lifts me up. Exhale, squeeze that breath out. One more big breath in. Exhale. Inhale, arms up. I'm going to pivot on my feet. So I'm now facing the top of my mat, left foot down. Lift that right heel so you're in low lunge. Step that foot in, plant the heel, slide back pyramid. Blocks are friends. We're feeling tight in those hamstrings today. Grab your blocks, books, whatever you have. Try to create a nice long spine. If you have a little more openness in those hamstrings today, you want to fully fold over, fully fold over. With an inhale, we're going to come back forward, knee right over heel. Stand right up, bring that right knee to chest, give it a nice big hug. Slide your hand down to the ankle or to the top of the foot, squeeze the knees together, left arm lifts, you could stay right here. You could slide the hand around so thumb is pressing into big toe. And then take a very super aligned, I'll let you have a fun one later, dancer's pose. So make sure the knee's not flopping open to the side. Make sure I'm not down here. Everything's trying to go up. 
Like I want to draw you from the crown of my head to this right big toe for three, two, and release slowly through warrior three. Step back, land your low lunge. Drop the right knee. Pivot back to me. We're in gate pose. We come half child's pose, half gate. Breathing for three. And as you inhale, come back up to all fours. Pull that left leg in, two sides. So come back to that neutral spine. Pull the low belly in like you're zipping up your skinny jeans in the morning. Left arm, right leg straight as an arrow. Spread your fingers, spread your toes. Even give that right side of your glute a little squeeze. Reach back, keep that right foot flexed as you lift through the heel, tap. Reach it forward. Flex that foot, heel lift, tap. Reach forward, keep your eye gaze steady, so nothing but that arm and leg are moving. If you feel it in your low back, I need you to engage your core more. You might be overarching. Take it back, hold. You don't have to grab anything. If you want the bind, grab it, lift. Stretch it out for three. Keep your breath moving. Let go of what it's supposed to look like, what feels good this morning. Two. And release, extend back nice and long. Now reach to the side walls. See how far you can go, play with it. And release. Woo, one side's a whole lot nicer than the other. Take your left hand right under shoulder, breathe in and open. Exhale, contract through the core, thread. Breathe in, expand. Exhale. Two more, inhale, exhale. This time, take it up. We're gonna pivot on the feet. So now we might get the back of our mat. Right leg should be in front. I'm gonna tuck the left toes, come into a nice strong low lunge. Make sure your right knee is over heel. Straighten the right leg, pyramid. You might need to pop that left foot in some. Try to root to that back heel if you can. Stretch. Squeeze the feet towards one another on a diagonal. And feel the inner thighs, keep engaging, keep the low belly pulling in, even here. You inhale, come back through your low lunge. Shift the weight into the right foot, stand tall, hug that knee in as high as you can. Slide the hand down. We can just hold the stretch right here. Otherwise, spread the toes, walk the hand across, press and go up, 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 up. Gently release, move through warrior three. It's okay to stumble, as long as you stumble into joy, right? Drop down, drop the left knee, pivot back to me. So we're in that gate pose, I've got knee to that uh, right foot aligned, arch, and press back. Breathe in, come back to all fours, and let's turn back to the top of our mat. Take a cat cow. And tuck your toes, lift your hips down, dog. Bending your knees, look to the top of your mat. Take a little hop, step, or float. Inhaling, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Uktasana, chair pose. And stand tall, mountain. With an inhale, arms come up. With an exhale, odd interlace, flip the palms over. I'm going to turn to you. You can stay facing whatever way you're comfortable. We're going to grow on that first little side body exercise we did. So this time, if you need to stay here, that's totally fine. Otherwise, shift the weight into your right foot. I'm going to float my left knee height, abduct. Crunch them together. Stand tall. Bring it back. Take it out. 
for three more. Center. Two. If you were on carpet like me, it's a whole new fun experience. Cannot wait to not be on carpet anymore either. Come center. Last one, take it on hold. So challenge, you can hold right here, or I want you to crunch, come all the way down, keep your chest open, keep your chest open. Have a seat. We're going right back up. So turn those right toes back forward. Stand up. Release. Come center. Close it off. Release that one. Little Tibetan drum. Now, if you could do that third piece, the squat and come back up, you're going to be able to do what we're headed toward later in this class. Um, so keep that in mind. And if you don't want to do what we're doing later in class, we'll come back to this. So take an inhale, switch which thumbs on top, flip the palms, pull them back, lift your heart open. We take right knee height, abduct, big crunch. I want it in here. If it's not in here, you might be collapsing forward. Don't do that. Ooh, come center. You got four. Crunch. Two. And make it your own. If we need to take it back to where we started, that's fine. It's not just you. It's hard. Crunch. Hold. See if you can play. We're coming all the way down. Just for giggles, guys. Trip into that joy. Come right back up. Keep them attached. Keep them attached. Oh, this side's harder. Come up. Nice. Release. Oh, let that go. Turn back to the top of your mat. All right, so I want this. You should be feeling some things through here. Inhale, chair. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, hop, step, or float it back through your vinyasa. You could also just step back to down dog. Find your breath here. Breathing in, come forward through plank. Shoulders over wrists, press the floor away, zip up through the midline. From here, we're shifting side plank to the left. And so you can kind of scissor the feet and really squeeze that our thighs, especially for what we're about to do. Remember that side of your body. If you need knee down, you can do the same thing, knee down. If our feet are kind of squeezed together, we're going to crunch it back and spring forward for three, two, and one. Come center. Take the bottom leg, your left leg. See if you can pull the knee in, extend, smile, bring the knee back in, drop it down, side plank, extend and open. See if you can start to shift your gaze up to that right hand. Draw your head back, draw your heart back, send the hips forward a little. Bring your knee to chest. We might hold the shin, ankle, or the top of the foot. Pull it back and stretch. Should still feel our core going on, right? To stabilize. Bring that knee back forward. Step to the top of your mat. Stand right up, left knee to chest. We've been here. Catch the front of that foot or walk the hands around. Inhale. Now, if you want to play with a little funky dancer, play. Feet land, side by side, right into chair, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Make your way to down dog, however you'd like to get there. Hop, step, roll, <laughs> have a seat. <laughs> Breathe. All right, so how are you feeling? If that was hard, it's okay. You can make it however you need it to be this morning. 
As you inhale, come forward. Side plank on this side. Go to the right. The right foot should be on the bottom. And that left foot, I'm really pressing into the um, outer sole of this foot as well. Send the hips slightly forward. Draw your head back. So I'm pulling my head, heart, and hips into one nice long line. Press the floor away. Remember that part we were crunching? You should feel that fired up and pressing away from the floor. You can always drop your right knee, but we're going to pull back. Spring forward, crunch, forward, one more, crunch, come forward, hold, take your right knee to chest, and then kick that leg through, spread your toes, bring the knee back in, land, and pick up that left foot, flex the foot, spread the toes, shift your gaze up. Pull that left knee to chest. Catch your shin, ankle, or top of foot. Pull it back. If you were going to touch your head and your big toe together, bring that left knee back to chest. Step right to the top of your mat. Stand right up. It's okay to wobble. Hug that knee in. Release the foot back. And take any dancer pose that brings you joy. Play. It can be sloppy. <laughs> if we can't be sloppy on Zoom, where can we be sloppy? <laughs> Come back. Land feet side by side, right into chair. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Prepare. Hop, step, or float it back to your vinyasa. Down dog or child's pose. Take five breaths and reset. Feel yourself slow your breath, slow your heartbeat back down. And maybe feel a little bit of ease at this point in class. Maybe your mind's becoming a little less cluttered. Just kind of in your breath, in your body. And enjoying these last 20-ish minutes of class. So as you breathe in, let's take our left heel to sky. Bring your knee to chest, and I've got options for you. We're going to either just lift right back up, or we're going to come knee to chest, and if you want some fire, you're going to kick and hop. Knee to chest crunch, kick and hop. For three, you find handstand, hang out for a second. Two, hop, one, big hop. Bring that knee to chest, step left foot by left side. Inhale, press and lunge. Take a moment, settle in here. Do exhale, drop that right heel, open to me, warrior two. Taking an exhale, reach along over that thigh, come into your side angle pose. So blocks are friends. We're about to take this into a balance pose. So if that's not you today, stay here and ground and work the strength here. All right, if you're coming with me, we're gonna start to bind, see if we can bind. So take left arm underneath, right arm behind, and then I'm gonna come back head over that heel. If I can't bind, I can do the same thing by taking my hand under my thigh right here. You'll see where we're headed. If you know, you can kind of move through it on your own with your breath. I'm going to step to the top of my mat. I'm going to bend my knees. I'm going to peel that left heel off, shift the weight into the right foot, and stand tall. If you have the balance here, you can extend and find your bird of paradise. So remember where we were in the beginning of class. If we could get this, it's very similar feel through here. So if we can't get the bind and we can't do all that, come back here for me. You're basically doing the same thing, right? One foot, balance, crunch. If you've got that bind in your bird of paradise, we come back down the way we went. And just for giggles, let's step right back into that bound side angle. So don't think too much. Step the right foot back, bound side angle. 
Hands come down inside of that left foot, lizard. Drop the knee. Let's come into a little lazy lizard into those hips. You can melt all the way down. You could stay a little higher. You want to reach around and grab the back foot for the bind. Take what feels good this morning. Keep hugging that left knee in towards your chest unless you have the bind and you want to roll open. Uh, gently release that right foot. Hands come back framing this left foot lift and then still working some of that side body. I want you to see if you can just pull that left heel into your glute and my knee is still on the back of that tricep. Step back plank. Chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. Inhale, three. Again, slow the breath. Slow the heart rate. On an inhale, take that right heel to sky. We're coming the same way we did on that first side. So hug the knee in, shift forward, and come back. Add your hop or just go three-legged dog. Crunch, three-legged dog, up to you. Come in and crunch, kick and lift. Come in and crunch, lift, three, two, one more. Bring that knee to chest, step left. Nope, right foot by right thumb. Inhale, press and lunge. Settle in, watch your knee track right over that heel. Press into the ball of that left foot as you really lengthen out. You exhale, drop the left heel. Warrior two. Come along over that thigh. How far can you reach? Feel the connection here. Keep trying to pull this away from the thigh. Begin to find your bind, or remember we can hold our side angle and work this. We won't be here super long. If you can bind, find your bind. If you just wanna hold under the thigh or knee, you can do the same exact thing. We're gonna slowly step to the top of the mat. Turn the heels front forward, bend the knees, heel that right heel, shift the weight. Once you feel the weight shift, lift. If we need to come back to the crunch we did at the beginning of class, go there. That will build the strength to get here. Once you got the balance, we'll see. Extend that leg. Breathe. Three. Use that side body. Two. And make it back down the way you can. We're gonna step. Left foot back. Find your extended side angle. Breathe into it for just a moment. And release the bind. Hands come down inside of that right foot. Find your lizard. Drop the knee. Melt down, lazy lizard. Root into the top of that left foot and come to whatever depth feels good in your body today. To feel good though, there shouldn't be any pain or pulling. If there is, come back up. Use pillows, use blocks to support yourself. And be kind to yourself more than anything, right? Get on one side, make sure you mirror image that bind. And slowly release. Hands are gonna frame this right foot. Tuck the back foot so you're kind of in this really low lunge. 
and see if you can just float that heel off. I've still got my knee into my tricep for support. Step back, plank, chaturanga, up dog, down dog. Take your head, yes, no. Let go of any tension behind the neck, heart or shoulders. And as you inhale, come forward plank one final time. We're gonna bring left knee to left tricep, hold. Set that foot down, step in with that right foot tap and step right back. Step in with that right foot, crunch and tap, right back. Step in, crunched, right back, one more. Step in, crunch, hold. Have a little seat into that squat to the left side. Stand up one more time. See if you can keep the knee in contact the whole time. And come right back down. From here, heels in, toes out. Go ahead and have a seat into your yogi squat. Malasana blocks under your hips are a great idea. If that's not available to your body this morning, Garland pose right here, perfect posture. I'm just making sure I'm kind of pushing my knees out so I can feel that openness. Otherwise, I can sit here. If you are really enjoying that side body opening, fingertips behind tempos. Ooh, sit tall. And if you are just a glutton for punishment this morning, lift your heels, lift your hips halfway. Breathe for five, four, two, keep the heels lifted if you can, all the way up, Woo. drop the heels, heel toe the feet back in, release those arms, a little Tibetan drown, let that all go. Bringing the feet back together at the top of your mat, take an inhale chair. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, hop, step, or just land and down dog, however you'd like to get there. Breathe. Good news. You've just got one side left. So as you inhale, load it forward to plank. Find your nice stable base right here. Bring that right knee to right tricep, land the foot, and now step in, crunch, knee to tricep and back, left side. As high to that underarm as you can, step back. Crunch, and back, two more. Crunch, last one, big crunch. Land the feet. Keep that connection between the knee and right tricep. Take the hands behind, shift the weight. See if you can keep contact as you come all the way up. You'll quickly notice which side's a little weaker than the other. Take it back down. And Malasana. Whew, very nice. Take a couple deep breaths. Make sure you're not gripping in the ankles or your low back. Take a deep breath in and try to lift through the crown of your head. Slowly, go ahead and have a seat on your bum, taking your legs out nice and long in front of you, removing any flesh from your sit bones. Take a breath in, and as you exhale, melt down over your thighs. Still pulling your navel in and away from the sides and try to aim your heart towards your big toes, even if you gotta bend your knees.
Inhale, lift you halfway. And as you exhale, sit all the way up. Slide those feet in. We're going to take the right foot over left. Figure four. Try to work the pointy part of your ankle bone outside of that left side if you can. And then we can lift our hips and slide them toward this left heel as much as feels comfortable. Try to take a little weight out of your fingertips. Draw your low belly in and send your heart and calf towards one another. As you exhale, you might even drop your nose towards your shin. One more deep breath in. And as you exhale, we're going to root through the palms, fingertips facing toward your back heel. Take an inhale. Leverage this right leg out of your left as you pick the hips up and come into a reverse tabletop. You might drop your head back if your body's okay with that, but press the floor away. Really fire up those glutes, send them to the sky. Taking your right knee to chest. Lift to that heel, send your heels in opposite directions, and set that right foot down. I'm going to pull my butt through my hand, see if I can skim the floor and press away. Come right back up. One more time, you got this. Pull through, hold, maybe you float the feet. Have a seat. Remove any flesh. We bonus material. Take an inhale up. Exhale, melt. Inhale, lift us halfway. Shoot your heart towards your toes. Exhale all the way up. This time, left foot. Spread the toes, flex the foot. We can stop wherever we need to. We can be a little further from that heel, or we kind of fold ourselves up like a lawn chair here. Walking some of the weight out of the hands. Sit nice and tall out of the sits bones. And as you exhale, nose towards your shin. Each exhale, I want you to really send that breath into your outer left hip. Send that signal to soften and release. One more inhale. Exhale. Planting the palms. You might need to walk them back, especially if you folded yourself up real tight. Uh, so that we lift our shoulders over our wrists. All right, root to that right foot. Find your low core. Zip your skinny jeans up. And then like you are mad at that mat, press everything away from you as you come up. Open up. Take that left knee in. And then kick the ceiling. Press through your right heel more, more, more. Set that foot down. Pull the booty through, try to float the floor, you can do this. Land the feet, come right back up. You've just got one more. Pull the butt through, L sit, feet can lift or not. And release. Whew. All right, bend your knees, using the backs of those legs to slowly roll down. Bring your knees into your chest, give them a nice big hug, rock side to side. And then taking the arms out, T-shape, palms up, legs come long overhead. Just to allow the legs to start to fall as far as you can with control to the right and your left shoulder not picking up. Come right back center. Exhale. Remember those spaces we're working today. That is what should be firing up right now. If it's too much, bend the knees. You can also keep one straight, one bent. Work what you got today. Your little is better than nothing, but always form over intensity. 
Inhale, center. Those shoulders stay rooted. Palms up. You can also push the palms down if you need a little more support. Come center. Hard to talk and do it. Exhale. Inhale. One more set. Go right. Inhale. Exhale, left. Inhale, center. Bend the knees. Let them go right and land. Take your eye gaze and shift it down that back arm. If you want a little more, you can always extend that top leg. Bringing the knees back together first. Take an inhale as you gently guide them back center. As you exhale, let them drift off to the left. Mirror imaging whatever we just did. Shift the gaze. If you extended the top leg, we do that on this side. And then really tuning back into the breath here. Feel it just like ocean waves, kind of bringing the tide in and out with each breath. Bringing the knees back together, center. Take a hold of your ankles, knees, or soles of your feet as you draw them down for a nice, strong, happy baby. You can rock it out here. But my joke, you're not a chill baby. You're a very aggressive baby. So drop your booty down, drive those knees down. Elbows are really bending to the side walls. And so it's a strong pose, especially females. I want you to keep it nice and strong and everything's still zipping up through your midline for three, two, Bring the soles of your feet together, reclined cobbler's pose. Once again, a little bit aggressive, drop the booty, not painful, but definitely some strength to this posture. Pull the big toes towards your sternum, butterfly the knees out, elbows bend, and you should see a little bit of bicep work going on for three, two, set the feet down in this shape, just below the tailbone, enough out so that it's comfortable, if this is intense, take blocks out underneath your thighs. If you're comfortable here, we're gonna take this into a butterfly bridge just to reset our back real quick before we lay down. So take the fingertips long toward those heels. You can slide them in if you can kind of feel where your bridge needs to be. Make sure you're not arching through your low back, right? So my back is still on the mat. I'm doing that slight counter nutation through the pelvis. On an inhale, root through the pinky touches of your feet. Lift into that butterfly bridge. Five strong breaths. You should hear your breath. On the next exhale, with control, slowly melt down. And just let everything fall open beside you. Giving yourself permission to stay in this shape for just a few moments. Give yourself that this morning. You can stay in that butterfly if you're ready to extend out into Shavasana. You may do that as well. I'm just going to bring you back to that prompt that I gave you at the beginning of class. As you're relaxing here, letting all that good prana from your practice kind of flow over you, how can we inhabit our roles with love, joy, passion, but also this emptiness, right? So I'm not just Lillian and Braylon's mom. I'm not just someone's wife. I'm not just a yoga instructor. I can inhabit these all with joy, but I'm not squinched into one little role. Um, and I find that's very easy 
especially for females. I mean, for any humans really, but moms, we get pigeonholed a lot. Females, we get pigeonholed a lot. So as you're in this kind of calm space, just play with that through your mind. What does that look like for you? What is tripping into joy day to day look like for you? Can you delight in the dance of it all? <laughs> 